still holding on. <laughs> so, I had a little bit of a disappointing situation. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit of disappointing thing um that raccoon that i showed you guys came back and wiped out three of the quail Wiped out three of the quail, so he, I guess, stuck his paws in the holes in the back, I guess, and shredded it to pieces. I mean, I came out here, there was a heart, there was a head, you know, these things were separated from each other, so he really did its deed on that. So I'm not sure what to do. If I want to continue the quail journey because I just don't want to be losing them to a raccoon. Hey guys. Good morning. Good morning everybody. Out of the greenhouse, I'm trying to get the greenhouse cleaned out so it's ready for fall stuff to get planted in there. Like we'll have stuff in the garden, but we'll also have stuff in the greenhouse. So. Let me get over here. Big ducks. <laughs> what are you doing over here by yourself? You're in the wrong spot. Little duckies, I mean, put your food in here. <clears throat> Come on, little ducks. There you go. Little ducks in the inside. Little ducks in the hut. Little ducks in the hut. Good job. You're going to run over the babies. Little ducks. Two little ducks. You're going the wrong way. They're in there eating. Come on, little ducks. Going the wrong way. Little ducks, little ducks. Oh my gosh. That little one, he gets stumbled over. Go in the hut. You're missing the you're missing the turn and all the food's in there. No. Oh my gosh. You guys are nuts. Go ahead, little ones. Okay. Crazy. 
Pois bem. Big ducks are in the way. So we are, oh, that one's coming too. Oh, geez, what has to hatch out now? So I was, um, well, it's hatch day, hatch day number two. And I was going to collect everyone that hatched and put them in the brooder. And I opened it, took those ones out, and then closed it back up. So I was coming back in here to take out the empty shells, and I heard chirp, 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 and this one was about to hatch. I didn't want it to shrink wrap, so I went on and just picked away some of the shell just to make sure its head got out of air so it could get out. And I now see this one is about to hatch as well. Um, because it's out in the air, I don't want it, again, I don't want them to shrink wrap, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and help them, those two get out. Oh, there's another one coming, I think. Over there, good Lord. Look at that. So, so far we've had nine hatch from this one and 26 hatched in the the big um, incubator. So, yeah, there's definitely, so there's two more about to come. One yeah, here one and one here. So again, since those are cracked open, I may have to crack those open a little bit for them because I don't want them to shrink wrap since I had to open the brooder. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right there, all over there, like that. You can't hold it, not yet. Look, it's coming out. Hey, This one is coming out. It's coming out of the egg. Hey. Let's watch the baby quail come out. That one! Yeah, that's another that one. one. I know. Hey, hey. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's Look, it's coming out. Look at the egg, Spencer. Look at the egg. Look You see the egg? Look. Look. You see the quail coming out of the egg? Look. 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 Front raised beds are almost done, halfway done, I guess. So 
this one has oh, there's a big ant on there but this has cabbage and Cabbage and collard greens, cauliflower, this one has kale, um, broccoli, broccoli, kale, kale, cabbage, and then I put some green bean seeds, Kentucky Wonder, on the back, right up against the end there to climb over this trellis. I was gonna put some on the other side of that bed too, and then they will come up and meet each other. Um, but I didn't. I'm thinking I'm just gonna let this cross over and now have all the space to do that themselves. So then, so this is still filled with kajari melon and, what was it, kajari melon and the uh, apple cantaloupe, Tommy apple cantaloupe uh, melons. This one here, this is celery that's growing, so I'm going to just chop that off and let that continue to grow back. You can see that there was some cabbage that was in here that didn't do well for me in the spring but I let it was in there so it kind of is coming back a little bit so something's been eating on it but we're gonna take care of the eating of the eating of the stay, stay there Silas where you going be careful come on of the eating of the vegetables so I want to put some fencing up around here but I've also put in here some um, Brussels sprouts some cauliflower and collard greens I believe were in there this I just cleaned out took away all the um, the mulch that was on there and pulled out all the old um, you know the roots for whatever all the stuff that was in there we literally pretty much got nothing I got one eggplant out of it. I got one squash out of this. Nothing else grew any female flowers to make anything. So we're going to replant this with something else. But that did not do well here. So that's all cleaned out. So that's everything in the front right now. I did just pick up some more tea posts. So we're going to make this so that nothing comes in here and eats it up. So I'm going to just outline around here, come around here to the front, come around here to this front, and we'll do some kind of opening either on this corner, which I think might be the best, either this corner here or that corner down there will have an opening to get inside of this raised bed area. I'm not sure what to put on the T-post yet, whether to use cattle panel, which I figure if I use cattle panel, squirrels will still be able to get to those big holes. Um, I mean, they can climb over things too, but it'll be less, a little bit better if I didn't do cattle panel. So I'm thinking to maybe do either chicken wire or like a hardware cloth. Has to be something inexpensive. I can't put a whole lot of money into it. So that's the plans and the goals and as you guys know and saw we got our um, wood chips so I'm also going to fill in all the walkways so this will be looking a lot nicer very soon very soon but I'm glad things some things are planted in there and getting those growing while we're waiting <laughs>